Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Queer and Polyam Colony. Let's go see how our colonists are doing in the Rainy Mountain Forest Base. The Rainy Mountain Forest Base is living up to its name. We've had a rainy thunderstorm, but that's okay. We're getting lots of power through our wind turbines and we are storing it up in our batteries. Ooh, we can turn this off now. Nice. We just gotta hope for, for no fires. Last episode we accepted this quest, The Shame of Vaughn, and we got new member Vaughn, who is 57. He's a hired muscle. Um, when he first joined, he was saying there was some kind of threat following, and he's been unwilling to say what it is. We waited for days and days, and it still hasn't arrived yet, so it's kind of an uncomfortable waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh, mood in the base these days. Mm. Nice ambrosia sprout. Oh, and it's right near us. That's perfect. Mm. Ah, I was wondering if this would be the threat when I heard the sound. It is. It's a manhunter pack. Of what? Of poodles. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Okay, but how many? If it's like two, that's not very threatening, but... Uh, okay, that's not too bad. It's like four. I don't see any other threats on the map. But let's check just to be sure. Yeah, there's only four manhunting poodles. Okay, I think we can fight them. We also have new uh, embrasures set up, even though, you know, there's a hole in the, in the wall. It's not a complete perimeter or anything like that, but it gives us a place to start to shoot from. Let's get everyone into position. Okay, the poodles have split up. One of them's over here, but these three are approaching right at the right angle, so that's perfect. We'll have to keep an eye on this other one. Looks like it might be coming to join the party. Okay, good, okay, they're not getting around the wall. That's perfect. Okay, here comes the last one. So far, so good. Vaughn has a pretty crappy weapon, but I wanted him to take part in his own, um, you know, fight his fight. He brought it to the base. He can help us defeat. Nice. Okay, great. Uh, looks like they had Scaria as well. Ooh, this one's gross. Okay, awesome. Well, good job, everybody. Let's undraft you and you can go about your day. Some of you were just waking up for the morning, so I'm sure you would love to go eat some breakfast. Yep. <laughs> Three of them pull out soups. Mmm, soup for breakfast. Aw, <laughs> uh, Blitz was making moves on Lyric, but she was not interested. We have some visitors. Our old friend Greedy Moses is back. Please don't eat our food. We remember what happened this winter. Ooh, interesting. We also have Karos, the zookeeper. She's beautiful, kind, and although she breathes creepily, she's really wonderful with animals. Although she's quite old and has many health problems. I don't think we'll be trying to recruit, recruit you, Karos. Sorry to say. Hey, a party! Yes, please. That sounds great. Who's throwing it? Vaughn is throwing it. Maybe it's a thank you party. Uh, he's throwing it in this little dark and dank steel mining room off the dining room. Vaughn, why is this your choice for a party room? It's really not very nice. It's very cramped. 
Is anybody liking it? You're not getting the cramped debuff at least. Vaughn, bon, you're weird. And you hate the darkness. Why throw a party in there then? There is nothing in here to recommend this room. I think he chose this room because he has a secret to tell. He has noticed how wonderful and accepting the queer colony is, and he has decided to come out to the colonists. He wanted to let them know that he is gay, but that he is ace. So he's really not interested in any sexual relations. But if anyone wants to be romantic and cuddly, he's on board for that. He's not aromantic like A is. And of course, everyone is warm and welcoming as always. And they appreciate the courage it took for Vaughn to tell his story. Speaking of relationships, last episode, Rose and Emerald got back together, which was really exciting. They are lovers again. And I'm really hoping that this time um, it lasts more than, you know, the first week. I think it has already because days have been going by. Oh no, Vaughn! That's your own fault. You were sad because you were in the dark. Because you threw a party in the dark. Ugly environment. Well, duh. Oh my goodness. I mean, at least he got the positive... Um, for attending the party but let's at least give him like a better bedroom and hopefully he'll be happy about that although Amelia is also in a bad mood and she likes having the best bedroom so we'll see oh he's also upset because of this weapon because he believes in neophytalism oh Ah, oh, cuddle heart time. Love it. Yeah, because of his ideology, um, he doesn't believe in that. Can we? We can't get him to drop it right now because he's having his little sad wander. But once he's done, we can. And Amelia does indeed have the best bedroom right now, so we may have to just swap them back and forth or try to make like two identically um, high quality bedrooms for them. Moses seems to have brought his own food. Q. Uh oh. Fire. Oh, it's right nearby. Moses, did you cause this? Do you know anything about this? Did you have anything to do with it? No? You may be questioned further later. Okay, for now, Emilia, do you not put out fires? You don't. Uh, okay, time to wake people up and put out fires. Vaughn is no longer wandering in sadness. He has finally gone to sleep. That will help because he was feeling sleepy, which is part of the problem. Okay, and he's dropped his weapon, so that should make him happier. Oh, and he's feeling happy because he had a catharsis. Good job, dude. And he likes the rain. That's quite cute. I like that. Let's, uh, let's remember to go into his character editor. Oh yeah, there it is. Pluviophile. Um, I think the sickly one is the one we're going to swap for the asexual one. Actually, hmm. Yeah, that sucks. They've kind of just... Ace and Arrow are kind of the same thing in this game because... If he has no sexual attraction, I don't think they're going to let him have, like, romantic attraction separate from that. That kind of sucks. I really wish there was more, you know, gender expansive and sexual orientation expansive mods out there. But I'm enjoying the, the psychology mod. And the gay experiment has concluded. Uh, so I just need to put that video together and I should be able to release it next week instead of the regular video uh, Which will work well because that's my like final exams or final papers and projects week 
so that'll be nice to have um, a different video to put out get excited about We've got a quest available, Waller's Unknown Nomads. Are they people who want to come and stay with us? Six desperate refugees. Interesting. Crop blight starve them out of their village. They want to stay at Rainy Mountain Forest for nine days. They want to work and fight. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely accept that. Our visitors are kind of mostly, I think they're all camped out in this nice room. So that means we have three beds here available. And we've got one, two beds here. Rose and Emerald are now sharing a bed, so that's nice. They don't each need their own. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll build, I'll finish building this one. Maybe stick another bed somewhere and we should be ready for them. Haha, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a bed in this room and then Amelia and Vaughn can share it and they will both be in the best room. Nice. Our brewery is ready. Now we can start to make beer. Yay! Wow, look at that. The guests are really buying up our soup. 352 silver. They must have bought quite a lot. I, th I think we had like twice this amount. Luckily, there will be enough food for our guests, and Lyric is continuing to make more soup every day, so that'll be really helpful. Hmm. Our guests really enjoyed their stay, and they left us a gift. What is it? Muffalo wool summer hat. That's a bit of a contradiction. Really warm summer hat. Uh, and a visage mask. Cool, maybe Emerald would like that one instead of the one she has, which I think is steel. This one might be lighter. Yeah, hers is steel. Oh! Someone has hauled it away. We'll find it. She can put it on when she wakes up. Oh, except we have a fire first. She may need to wake up early. Um, it is in the rain, however, it's on the crops. So we had better deal with it. Emerald, I'm sorry to wake you up. Could you come and help get this put out quickly? It's almost the end of summer and we're just finally seeing a few warm days here and there. But we haven't even had to turn on the air conditioning all summer. This is really a very cold base. Ooh, uh, Amy has given birth, number one. Number two, there's a whole bunch of little boars stuck in this corner of the map. Um, not too many are crossing this swamp, so I'm going to send Emerald over to hunt. Good job, Emerald. Uh, but then we'll go check out our baby alpaca. That's pretty exciting. Oh, the hunting is causing them to run across the water. Darn. Rose is getting in on the hunting too. The girlfriends are feeding their tribe. Thanks, Rose. Back to researching you go. Okay, let's come see our baby alpaca. Is it this tiny one? Oh, that's Adam. He's now a big brother. Is it this little one? Oh, cute, nine hours old. So what should we name you? We have Amy, Alec, Adam, and let's name her. Your airy. And her mom is already pregnant again. Good job, Amy. Get us lots of baby alpacas. Got the warm, fluffy fur for winter.
We need some more muffalos though. Poor Michaela, all on her own. Oh, and she's got lots of wool. Let's get someone over here to shear her. Uh, we don't have very many good handlers. We'll get emerald and rose on it. Okay, so we are ready to accept the refugee quest. What I've done is put a fourth bed in this room here, and I've um, made them not guest beds, so we only have six guest beds up here. Hopefully that'll be enough for the time being. If not, we can steal our hospital beds. So we've got four beds here, and we've got an extra bed here and here. Oh, and there's some visitors, of course. Hopefully not more than six. No, it's only two. That's fine. Hopefully we won't get a second group, though. But yeah, so we have six empty beds, so we're going to accept the refugee quest, Waller's Unknown Nomads. Okay, let's go meet our refugees. We have Henning, Waller, Kane, Salvo, Newton, and a sixth person? Do we have a slow person? We have someone up here, Suta. Are you like a loner, Suta, going all by yourself? What do they believe in? They believe in true Astro Buddhism. Not too bad, nothing too crazy out there. But they do venerate the fox. So that's something we'll have to be careful of. Maybe I'll change our manager hunting so that we're not automatically hunting any foxes because there are lots of foxes around being in the Arctic zone. So we'll set all of these guys um, tasks and we'll see, uh, we'll see how they fit in. And most importantly, we will hope that they don't betray us. Okay, let's see what they're good at. Henning is a very good doctor. We've got Salvo is very good at social. Holy smokes, 16. Also good at animal. Oh, that's great, we'll have help with our animals. We can take uh, Rose and Emerald off of that. They've got a lot of other important stuff to do, like researching. Although it looks like they'll have some help there too. Henning is a very good researcher, as is Salvo. Wow, Salvo's good at a lot of stuff, so is Henning. What else? What about the other guys? Kane is very good at growing. That's perfect. Get a few more things grown this summer. And we have a very good miner, Newton. So we'll get him to do lots of mining while he's here. Plant cutting. Uh, okay, we can get some drugs made. I think we uh, we need to research a drug lab. We've got our uh, brewery, but we need to get on the drug lab. Oh, and art. Great. Newton can make all of our art while they're here. Uh, Suta is not that good at many things. They're decent social. Yeah, not really. So they can help by doing a lot of cleaning. And that can free up our other colonists for other tasks. And a couple of them are good at fishing, so we might do a little more fishing than we normally do. Hey, Salvo was out doing some muffalo taming, and they tamed a muffalo. That's great. It's another female muffalo, so hopefully next time we will get the male muffalo. We will add a second muffalo so we can increase our chances. We would love to have some baby muffalos. Henning is already at work researching. Let's change that, get the drug lab going. Now that we have someone who's really good at making drugs. I do want to come back to prosthetics though because that was a priority we are working our way towards um, because of Amelia, because she's got that leg that was bitten off and she's really slow, so she's only able to be in our base area for now. Let's name our other new muffalo. We have Michaela. 
Let's give her another modernish name. Let's do Mackenzie. I remember these names were really popular around the time um, my kids were born, around the turn of the millennium. This is dumb. Amelia is all bummed out because she wants Rose's bedroom, but her bedroom is 54 and Rose and Emerald have 45. Explain that, Amelia. What are you talking about? She's still really sad there's no recent conquest. We should try to keep uh, converting her. Maybe we can do another conversion ceremony or something. Do you guys like how the little courtyard is coming along? We've got all these flowers planted. And we've got some hats. I think I want to research colorful lights. So that I can get some colors in there too. That would be really cool. Okay, we're gonna do another conversion ritual with Amelia as the target. Although later I think we'll want to work on Vaughn as well. We have pretty good chances of it being effective and possibly even masterful. So let's give it a try. Oh, I love this lotus so much with the mandala around it. I've been really into uh, zen tangling lately. You know, those little designs they are like little doodles that you draw. And it's so relaxing. Like I've been doing it before bed to kind of wind down. There's a lot of stress in my life right now. So it has just been lovely to just um, get away to doodling every night. And I even incorporated it into a project that we had to do. We had to choose like a creative arts method and write a paper on it and stuff. So I was able to do that for school, which is pretty awesome. I hope everyone else is having a good semester, whether you're in high school or also in university. If you're coming up on your final papers and exams and projects, I hope that's all going well. Just keep breathing, keep on plugging through and we're almost there yeah the only thing with these ceremonies you can only do them ever so often and if the colonists are relatively happy they have strong beliefs okay it was effective that's good her belief is down to 68 now when can we do this again yeah 20 days that's a very long time I think at least they can do like speeches we can still do a conversion speech, so I'll have to try doing one of those soon. Do you like Emerald's new mask, by the way? She's wearing the Plasteel mask. I, I think it looks nice. It's a little bit lighter color, so it looks nicer than the, the darker gray. Uh-oh, we have more. Oh, it's just one visitor. Phew! We have Eleanor visiting. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. She also believes in true astro-Buddhism. She'll get along well with our refugees that we have. All right, I finally remembered to get Blitz to drop his collar so that A can wear it. But I think he's doing pretty good. He's not near a suppression. Although last time he was like 85 and he went on a little rampage, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. We've tamed another muffalo. Oh, and there's fire. Uh, what? Where's the fire? Oh, I just didn't click properly. Uh, here's the fire. I don't think that's too much to worry about. It's uh, it's in the rain. Here's the muffalo. Thank you, Waller. And it's a male muffalo, so let's cancel the other male muffalo. We only need one. Uh-oh, we have a raid. Attacking immediately. I think we better take care of this this episode or else I'm totally going to forget. Especially with this special episode next week. I'll be recording in like two weeks and yeah, they'll get us. Uh, six people. Weapons aren't too bad. We've got more advanced guns. 
and we could even get some of our refugee guests to help as well. Are any of them particularly good? Suta's okay. Alright, we'll grab something for Suta and, and they can help out. But we'll have to remember to get them to drop their weapon after. Oh, let's get them to equip this poor uh, machine pistol. Okay, everybody, let's get ready. We should be in good shape because we've got all our walls here. So they'll be coming this way and we'll be able to attack them for quite a while before they get all the way around. Uh, I just hope they don't go up and over. All oh, right, Vaughn had to drop his weapon. I'm gonna see how he does with this uh, machine pistol. See if that's better for his ideal religion. And we'll have Suza grab the bow. Okay, yeah, Vaughn likes that weapon uh, more. He's happy about the conversion, but he's annoyed about the false ritual. That's kind of interesting. Oh wow, this guy's coming in fast. Here comes Fox and friends. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Blitz, why are you going this way, you weirdo? Go go this way. Stay safe, please. Uh, everybody move towards the south. And go quickly, because otherwise they'll use our little things against us. There we go. There we go. All right, good job. Get in there, guys. Get in there. They're using it against us. Rose, come closer. Blitz, you too. Is everybody holding their guns? Nobody's holding, like, sticks or wood. Looking good. Okay, you got this, guys. You got this. Nice. One down, four to go, two down, three to go. Where's Blue Jay headed? Let's let's follow him. You can't get away from us. Nice, okay, he's fleeing, because we got these guys over here. Let's bring you guys out and over. Alright, let's finish this off. Or, you know, let's deal with the mad Ibex Ram. Where is it? It's all the way over here. Okay, uh, it can head on its way over too, and we'll keep an eye out for it, since we're all drafted already. Blue Jay is hitting the wall. Yeah, go on in there and use these. He doesn't have a ranged weapon. Can stay in there for when the ram comes to visit. Oh, can you guys not reach him? You're like too close. All right, back up a little because he broke through the door. There we go. Not too hard. Uh, where did that ram get off to? That's the doe. There's the ram. It's on its way. Here it comes, we didn't have to wait long. I have to be aware of this opening here though. Hopefully they'll get it before it gets there. Yes, well done guys. Excellent, amazing, that was so fast. All right, everybody off you go and we'll pick up some of the stuff these uh, raiders dropped. Nice, lots of silver. Well, I'm glad that raid wasn't too complicated because I am going to leave it here for today. And I hope everyone is having a great week. I hope you have a great weekend to get ahead. And again, if you are also a student, I am wishing you all the best of luck with your final papers and exams. And stay tuned next week for a very special episode coming out. I've got a gay experiment that has run with the psychology mod and the uh, character editor to see how it works out when you change their sexual orientation there. How does it interact 
with the sexual orientation that they have in their psychology tab. So we'll check that out next week. I usually try to get the videos up before the weekend, so Friday afternoon-ish. So stay tuned for that next week. All right, everyone. Sending queer mom hugs out to anyone who needs them. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>